Hello, my name is Nash, and welcome back to my Lazy Wars. Today, we have the Invincible Reversal. And specifically, we actually only have two. But the third one is a bit of a leap. If she doesn't have any stacks, or actually has max stacks, she becomes invincible right at the beginning of the jump. Or not exactly the beginning, but just a few frames later. So it does actually allow her to dodge a few things a little later than, or a little earlier than others. That way. Don't know how, but uh, I'm just gonna kick you and stun you. Now the other two, well, they're obvious. Ninja, uh, Tiger Tommy and Magnum both have one. A single attack that's completely invincible right at the beginning. Just press it, and whatever they do, they're not likely not gonna hit you. Sabi eat! Sheesh. Okay, why don't I just do this? Could have a continue, I guess. Yeah, Kira, just stop them. Flying Tiger's not gonna help, because it actually doesn't. And now all I can do is a certain combo. So if I do a flash kick, delay it enough with a, a this, but actually, no, Flying Tiger's gonna knock him out. At least he rotated. And it's him again. Okay, I was gonna mention that they, they really just wanted to have that attitude of just spamming the taunts and then what seemed like mostly turtle. This needs to be gone anyway. Yeah, uh, faint uh, fainting rush. And there. That. I tried to react to the uh, that thing as well. Uh, why are you doing that? Is there a reason? Great bluff. And it still reaches. But that doesn't combo. Yeah, I don't think the sweep would work either. And that's barely as this will work. Okay, game. Fine. We're gonna have that happen. Can't combo because it's uh, it's, uh, it'll only work against bad recovery. The good thing is though that Fainting Rush does actually help in, in one sense. Uh, be aware, I cancelled. They did not hit me in the middle of a strike. I cancelled it the moment at uh, the, 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 the last second. And you stun them again. In this sense, I'm saying Fainting Rush can instantly cancel into another attack. Or just not be in the middle of an attack at all anymore. And stop you. And by that, just making you still in full invincibility. Back away. Use this. Create a wall. Cancel that one. Flying Tiger. Yeah. I did spend enough, though. So I can remove this. Use this in their face. Okay. Stun them. No. I guess the rush would have worked. Maybe I should stop canceling it. Because I barely just had to get caught multiple times. But this is gonna knock out. Once again, this combo exists. And okay, so in one sense, now I have a problem. I have to use an attack to cancel the invincibility in the box. But at least I can still just press the button and do this. You don't have to dash, it's similar to Phantom. But which one is actually released sooner? Yeah, actually that's the question. I have not checked the release dates for it, but I think maybe Tiger Tommy was released uh, first. Probably. Don't use your block. Use your regular one, but don't use the box right now. Nope. But then again, that's still a strike anyway. Final uh, match for this team. Great team setup. I can actually dodge one of Aeon's things if I time it right. If I don't just have that happen. But I can dodge uh, some of Sam's attacks, but then should have used Kira. Should have probably used Kira. I can cancel it into it. He whiffs, and then. Nothing happens. Flash kick and painting rush again. If you're going to use the nothing but the assist, but uh, then you're just being weird. Yeah, probably should, should have used the flying tiger. But yeah, never mind. They're just not going to use anything other than the assist. I'm going to stand in their face and nothing. Okay. Painting rush would have helped, but I didn't have it. Go ahead, use Aeon. Okay, I have no clue what would have happened. No clue. Kira, stop them. Flying Tiger's not gonna be combo, but they don't have the energy, so I'm gonna see about trying to land a combo this time. Great bluff. And Painting Rush, either you have nothing or you don't do anything. Or you do something. I did not uh, think this far ahead in the sense of... I forgot that uh, Tommy Assist is also a block, so... Double block assist. Not what we need to see. Okay, well, anyway, go ahead and use a strike. Valiant combo. So, you have a block in your mi- Nope, they're right. They just didn't have a strike yet. Well, anyway, you're gonna get- Just get knocked away. You're gonna stand here. It's really not helping them. Three in a row. 
But in that sense, it actually did help them. So, no rotation at all. Okay. Now they did. Up you go. Here's a Noble Blow. Here's another one. And Magnus Storm. I missed with that last two. Why is it... It's really just being weird. It's really just being weird. Okay. Which one is it? Yeah, you can't use that against this. Good luck. Uh, good luck. I was about to say good luck trying that again, but... Uh, Three, two, I mean... They're trying to combine two ways again. Yeah, I get kicked. So, you have your... Nope, okay. And now they have both their breakers. Now it's just nothing but breakers. What did you even do that for? You're going into the air. I'm going to recover two. Noble blow. And Seeker's Vengeance. You will be struck down right here. I'm going to stand in your face. And just use a breaker. Yeah, always remember. This is invincible at the start. I can use it to dodge supers as well. Remember that. You're going to strike again. I mean, just don't use a breaker and you'll be fine. Back. Caught me in the middle of a dash. I mean, whatever you're gonna do now is gonna be likely a breaker, so. Yeah, that's fine. Dash forwards. Still combos. Okay. Fine. It's a valiant combo. This will give me enough time to recover and do it again. So. Sorry to say, but you're knocked out. Okay. Well, I mean, the projectile can't hit me. Unless you use a specific thing, your projectile isn't hitting. Yeah, unless I'm also not in the middle of an attack at all. Yeah, and that as well. You may have a ton of recovery, but if you all projectiles pass right through, they're not hitting me. You go back into the air. So that and also their Sarah assist. Yeah. I didn't have what I needed. Zika's Vengeance delayed, because this can still reach. And now I'm going to use this in their face. Even then. Wow. Really now? Okay, I'm gonna delay it so you can use something. Or not, I guess. Yeah, you can tell, even if I wanted to do something, you have to remember to dash. So, Orion. And I wanted to remove it. Okay, then. Fine. Was the leader at all? Didn't seem like it. Finally, in a combo, that's a block to start. Not the greatest thing to happen. Gonna recover one and a half. You've got bad recovery anyway. You'll be launched again. Just stand in your face and block. Valiant combo. Four in a row. Yep. Okay, game. You're doing nothing but that. Noble blow. And I'm gonna have to block again at four. Noble blow. And that's gonna keep happening, I guess. Valiant combo. This is just. What is this even? Why does this even happen? Combination of bad recovery, perfect rotation, and perfect blocks. Not even perfect rotation, it just, it just didn't want to rotate at all. He's just got... I don't think he wants to do it. I don't think he's um, happy with what, what happened last round. Back away, Magnus Storm. Bad recovery, we'll just put him right above the ground. He's gonna go with that one, remove this. And now my breaker back. So what are you gonna do? Here's a valley combo. Good. At least you let it continue. Listen, uh, if anything, going by your attitude, I'm pretty sure if you did that to your last opponent before me, that was probably karma. <laughs> Distract them. So, what are you gonna do now? You're not gonna hit. And up you go. So, what's it gonna be? You're gonna try and burn? Yeah, this is still invincible. You better be ready to queue up a strike. Up you go. Okay, then. Uh, that's the last uh, match for that one. Now we at least have a somewhat... Uh, Strong Breaker. One that isn't really what you would expect, but it does have the ability to dodge a few dangerous attacks. And it's invincible when it's coming down for a few frames as well. So, the fact that we didn't fight Connor at all for those two is the weirdest part about it. Here's a Brave Bluff, and be aware, even a single stack will ruin it. Even a single stack does ruin it. So, go ahead. I'm gonna give you time. Maybe don't do that, though. Terror dive! Spoke. Hello, Eric. I'm gonna slash you. And... Okay, fine. Well, I'm still gonna poke you again, because you keep using everything. Just to, re just to remind everyone, 
specs 1, 2, 3, and 4 remove the invincibility at the beginning, while 5 and 6 and 0 actually have it at the beginning. Yeah, okay, fine. Look at that. They can still call them. This does help me be um, become a projectile uh, invulnerable to some stuff. You can, as you can tell, it's not invincible there. However, like I said, it's a little bit after. So think of it like just just a little after the jump. Well, uh, then now they don't. So you have explosive escape, and you have the twin slicer. Hey, Cole, since when were you that uh, when since when were you that fast? Eh, that's a block. Am I gonna get? Yeah, no, it's not giving me it. Wow. I really didn't want to. Back away. Well, then I guess not. So there's. There actually no. There's a gap. There's a gap between the things. You'll be swept. Here's a combo. And now, some extra damage. They're gonna probably use uh, something. No, no, no Aeon. Not a single one. But I didn't really show it properly because, uh, yeah, she didn't hit. But then again, that will be. If we can get this Archer to get a super, we'll probably be able to just dodge the thing. If it'll allow it. Get swept. And I'm gonna use Thunder Max now. Okay, good. At least you know the combo. Try to get your super. And they aren't one to taunt. So. And they don't dash instantly either, so. Hmm. Terror Scream. Terror Dive. If you don't hurry up and get your things, I will be attempted to do something. Yeah, I don't have a strike. First slot only. Okay, good. Okay, wait, did you even have a right to that energy? Spoke. Okay, now I don't have it though. Okay, now I do. So, what's it gonna be? Okay, fine. I don't even get to dodge it. I and then it just lags when it needs to matter to see it properly. Obviously, it couldn't do anything. But what matters is actually seeing it properly and pr clean. You know, how the match was going until that point. And now it was another stacking opponent. So that's gonna happen. Jurassic Strike. You will not be doing anything like that. And Terra Scream. Fully stacked. Now get out. You stand here. I've got double block, so. Yeah, okay. Terra Scream. You cannot, you're not gonna get to do that. And if you're gonna keep using breakers, I guess it's gonna be something. Spout. And Terra Scream. And another one. And okay, game, you're not gonna do anything else. Spout. And Terra Scream. You can dodge that one. You can hit here. Gone, dash, dash away. Yeah, there's the Terra Dive. Spout. No. Wow. Okay. Terra Dive! Yeah, what is the what the, why are you doing this? Why are you even doing that? And I couldn't even dash, it didn't let me. Okay, and I don't even Don't even react to it, of course. The only proper one was gonna end up being Connor for some reason. Now we have Zane. I mean this one we can show it somewhat. Somewhat show it against, but Ray Bluff remove this here. No. Ah, uh, let's see what you can do from this. Multiple crits for some reason. It's okay, game. About. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Would have been better if I had the other breaker, but it's not gonna help me, I guess. Terra Scream, and wow. What is this rotation? Are you going to give me my middle slot? And then stupid crits! Yeah, there. There's the perfect show, but I guess they probably changed it then. Cause that was a little... That was a little, uh, uh, weird. I guess I have to check the info on that bit then. Just use this one. Terra Scream. Not gonna land that. Back away. Nah, I should probably just use the attack sooner. I don't know what was wrong with the crits this game, but every- We should have gotten in for Kira, but really? Those crits were stupid. Zane is a balance, I'm pretty sure. Yep. So, what was that? 2% crit chance. This is also 2%, but... 
A reminder, I've always- there's a weird thing I've always thought that the game decides, you know, it's- your crit chance goes by your session. So for an example, you play low crit chance the entire time and then just swap to a high crit chance, it's gonna try and correct its value, probably. In this case... What was that? Okay, but one second I'll check something. Okay, information... Somewhat fixed. It's actually for, uh, when you're zero and one. When you have two, three, or four, five, or six, those stacks make the invincibility go later. So... I guess that's something. Anyway, if you guys enjoy the video, please be sure to give it a like, comment if there is something you would like to see, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to not miss anything, and my Discord, it's in the description. Memberships are a thing, you can become one, having the first streams, at the end of videos, receive links all the thumbnails, as well as join the Red Notification Alliance with priority. Anyway, I'll see you in the next Power Rangers video. Goodbye!